Hello friends, this video on reproductive health part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the most important thing. So when we talk about controlling the number of kids. So what is it that needs to be controlled basically? Basically you need to plan your pregnancy. Because pregnancy is the result of sexual intercourse. Right? So now the question is, okay, I don't want to have a baby. That doesn't mean that I don't want to get into a sexual intercourse, right? So both the things are not always related. So there might be a couple who, who might want to be together, but at the same time, they do not want to have a baby. Right? Maybe they already have two kids. Now they do not want any more. That doesn't mean that they should not have any further sexual intercourse. Right? Okay. So the question is, how, how can the pregnancy be planned? So how can, uh, how can a couple decide when they want to have a baby or when they do not want to have a baby? So that is what we will talk about here. That how pregnancy can be planned by a couple. So planning pregnancy actually implies to avoiding unwanted pregnancies. So because these unwanted pregnancies are the ones which I mean which creates a lot of fuss. They give rise to they keep on increasing your family. That is one thing. In many cases, when they when the couple really don't want a baby, uh, when unwanted pregnancies will lead to abortions. They might affect the health of the female adversely also and it they might it might impact future pregnancies so unwanted pregnancies are something which has to be avoided so we have to find out ways by which these unwanted pregnancies do not happen at all now why do we want to plan pregnancy to ensure some of the very important things one of this is not too many kids now as i said the first thing of uh, the first thing that family planning sees is your family's size should be proportional to your income but again that doesn't mean that if you are a millionaire you are supposed to have 20 kids that doesn't mean that so when i say it has to be proportional means looking at the entire population of the world we are already overpopulated we already have too many people we already have a hell lot of people who are below the poverty line so they do not even have the basic necessities of life so that is the current scenario so with that scenario I mean, it is enough if you have two kids, so not more than two kids. So now what do you do once you already have two kids? After that, you have to avoid pregnancies. You have to avoid because it is not possible that every time you have, you get pregnant and you go for an abortion because again, that is also not healthy for your body. So you will have to avoid being pregnant, right? So how do we do that? We will look at some of the methods. Proper age gap between kids, as I said, to ensure that enough care is provided to one before the second kid arrives. Avoid abortion, as I said. Now, unnecessary abortion at a very young age can cause health complications for the female later. Because sometimes it happens that uh, when people are very young, maybe in their teenage, they, they don't understand the pros and cons of certain things. And that is why we talk about reproductive health. And that is why it is there in your syllabus when you are in your adolescence. So that you know things. So sometimes it happens that uh, people don't know stuff and they get into some sort of sexual intercourse and then they get pregnant but then they are not prepared for it so it becomes an unwanted pregnancy for them and then they go for abortion so this abortion at a very young abortion is something which is never recommended i mean it, it is recommended in certain um, serious cases like sometimes it also happens that a, a female is carrying a baby and uh, carrying the baby itself is going to be fatal for the baby or for the female so in that case abortion is recommended but otherwise just because of your casual unprotected sexual intercourse if you get pregnant and you are getting it aborted and that too at a very young age that can sometimes lead to health complications it can also be fatal sometimes so conceiving post-abortion also becomes difficult sometimes so because of so many reasons there have been quite a few techniques to avoid unwanted pregnancies or to plan for a baby only when you want it so there are quite a few methods so it is just that you should be aware of when you want things to be done 
So that is where we talk about birth control. So how do we control the birth? How do we control our family size? It is all about, it will all talk about how can you avoid being pregnant when you don't want it. So the population growth can be very well controlled by motivating smaller families. So we have to motivate everybody to have smaller families. Now in, in our country, we do have slogans which say that we too and our too. So that means we both and our two kids, that's all. Now these days, many of your people even prefer having one kid because they are happy with one. They want to give one kid the best life. So the, having smaller families is the mantra behind uh, controlling the population growth. So smaller families can be possible using various contraceptive techniques. So just now I was telling, now the smaller family is possible only when pregnancy can be avoided when you don't want it of course so now that is also known as contraception or birth control so we will talk about several contraceptive techniques which are available these days and we will look at their advantages and disadvantages also so the contraceptive methods which these are the methods which prevent pregnancy so you can actually avoid being pregnant so even though you undergo sexual intercourse but you don't want to get pregnant so these methods will help you to do that so they are also known as birth control methods now there are many different types of contraceptive methods so some of them are natural methods and natural methods barrier methods intrauterine devices, oral pills or injections, surgical methods. So these are the various types of contraceptive methods. Now we will discuss about each of these methods one by one. We will see what are they, how do they work and what are the advantages and disadvantages associated with each of these methods. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.